Hello, Woodrow Cummins. Today I'm going to show you a few ways to get free books using a Faulkner County Library card. And if you don't already have one, I'm going to show you an easy way to get one. Our state library system has ebooks, magazines, and audiobooks, even movies, that we can borrow for free because we're part of the Conway community. And we can enjoy them at home by using the library website or an app like Libby. Libby is the kids version of the original library app called Overdrive. You can get books either way, but you always need to ask your mom or your dad for help downloading any app to your device. Throughout this lesson, I've added a few web addresses or URLs so that mom or dad can investigate a bit and decide which choice is best for you or your family. The choices look a little different from screen to screen, device to device, but they all work in similar ways. I'm going to show it, you what it looks like if you use the Faulkner County Library website first. Do you see that little orange box that I've circled at the top? That's where you would sign in if you already have a library card. The account number is on the back of your library card and that's what you use for your username. Your PIN, or your personal ID number, is your last name. If you hesitate for a minute to sign in, you're probably going to see this pop up. It lets you use your phone number to get a temporary library card. And again, please ask permission first before you do this. But if you don't have a library card, this is a great way to get started instantly. As you browse book covers, Look for the tiny icon underneath the cover, underneath the title, and the author. See the little book? The icon will tell you if the cover represents an electronic book or if instead it represents an audio book. See the little tiny headphones? When you find something that looks interesting, check above the book cover for an orange bar that states the word available. If it's there, you can go down to the word borrow underneath the cover, underneath the title and the author and the little icon, it's also in orange letters, and you can click it to take your turn. With ebooks, you're also going to have choices about how and when and where to read. You'll decide if you need 7 or 14 days to finish reading. Choose wisely because with an ebook library, it's just going to vanish from your device when your time is up. So give yourself enough time to finish reading. I usually choose 14. Once you click the borrow button, there are more choices. This pop-up displays the word success in green letters at the top. You'll also see the book's due date. And it will tell you how many books you could still borrow if you need some more today. You'll also have to make a choice to read now with Kindle or read now in browser. If you already have a free Kindle app on your device, I'd choose that one. But your parents can tell you which is the best for you. Follow their advice. If it gives you the choice of EPUB, EPUB, you're going to need an Adobe app for that one. And I'm really not as familiar with it because I always use my Kindle. Of course, if there's no orange bar above the book cover, it's not available. Someone else is busy reading it right now, and you're going to have to wait. That's why it says wait list instead. You can save it for yourself, though, by placing a hold on the book. Here's how you do that. Look at the Red Dogman book. See how it says wait list above the cover? Yep. Now look at the bottom under the cover under the title, under the author, under the little icon. Do you see the words place a hold where the other one said borrow? Click there to save it. When you place a hold, you are put on the wait list for that book. A pop-up tells you your holds position. That means how many books does the library own and where is your position to wait? First, second, third. That helps you see how long you may have to wait to get your turn to read. The pop-up also says it will email you when it's your turn. See why mom or dad needs to help you set this all up? Remember, you can't use your Conway Public Schools student email account. It needs to be your parents' account. 
and they'll even send you an email when your time is nearly up so you can hurry and finish reading too. Something else that's nice, the library will share other book choices that are available, so you can still find a book to read while you're waiting. When your parent gets an email that it's your turn to borrow the book, you can decide if you still want to borrow it right away or if you've changed your mind or maybe that you've chosen to wait. Maybe you're trying to finish up a different book. You can do all of those things from the email links. When I'm ready to borrow a book, I always choose read with my Kindle. You know that, right? It's kind of funny because the first time it happened, the library sent me to Amazon to download it. And I thought, wait, I don't want to buy the book. I just want to borrow it. But don't worry, it's still free. You click that link and it does send you to Amazon, but that's just where you download it to your free device. And it appears in my Kindle app, poof, just like magic. It works great and I love it. Well, since we can't go to the library or a bookstore to buy books right now, isn't it great that the library can kind of come to us? I hope that you'll be able to investigate a little bit with your mom or dad and try out the Faulkner County Library website or maybe try the Libby app to get new books. And in a week or so, I'm going to show you some of the other cool things that the Faulkner County Library provides for us. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a great day.